Waffle. The Spanish word for waffle. And good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. From last week, going into a TV production, to the last video, talking about delicious asados. All of those links are, are right below. Today, we're talking about, um, oh, I love these so, so much. We're talking about waffles. Because in the United States, these are a staple for breakfast. And typically you have these in a way that's a lot different than how you have them here in Chile. So we're gonna talk about waffles today. We're gonna get some delicious waffles and then also uh, we'll check these out. And uh, let's, uh, let's talk some waffles. So in the United States, these things are super, super popular. And usually there's a brand that's really popular, really famous called Ego. And typically you get them in the freezer section at the grocery store. They look just like this. This is the great value brand that you can find here in Chile. You can find it in Liter, probably in Jumbo. You can find all of these different things. But um, these, they're not my favorite. But they're good. And typically you have these in your house in the United States. I mean, if you like waffles. And you eat them with some butter on top and some sugar maybe, or some, as you can see in the picture right here, delicious syrup. That's typically how I have it, is with some butter and some syrup. And it's so, so delicious in the morning. I love them so, so much. But um, there's another way to make them as well. And in our house in the United States, my mom would have this special machine. And this machine, you'd put some batter that's very much like a pancake batter. And you put that batter inside of this little machine that warms up the batter and makes homemade waffles. So this might be the lazy way. Typically, before we go to work, we make breakfast. So something quick like this or cereal or toast. That's typically what you're going to find. But, here in Chile, we don't do this. Typically in Chile, you don't have something before you go to work. And that's something that I cannot get used to. I have to have something before going to work. I'm just, I'm hungry when I wake up. And maybe that's because of how I was raised. I, I just have to have something before going to work. But. Here in Chile, maybe you have just a, a little bit of something before you go to work, but halfway through your morning, you get a break time of about 15 or 20 minutes where you get to go and eat your breakfast with your colleagues, which is awesome and beautiful and something that I wish we would do in the United States because it brings people together. Food always brings people together. And that's why I love it so much and that's something that I really enjoyed when I came here to Cheech for the first time here in Chile. Because, well, I mean, I would eat then the breakfast in the morning, and then I would also eat another breakfast with everybody at the school, and then a couple hours later, you eat lunch. I mean, here in Chile, for me, I mix the two cultures, which makes me have to work out quite a bit. But I enjoy having this time that you get together, but, you typically don't eat a waffle. Where is that waffle? Waffles for breakfast. Because typically these waffles, well, you wake up, you don't wanna eat something big like this at your house and you're not gonna bring this whole thing to your work. So waffles here aren't necessarily for breakfast. And I would say the same is pretty much true for the pancakes. That video is linked below as well. But with waffles, they come and they look, oh man, super, super sweet. And you put on some syrup, that's sweet, but I mean, this is like, it's, it's like a dessert. You take your waffles and you put on some, I don't know, m and some chocolate, and maybe some whipped cream on the top. You put on all of these things that make it just like a, a delicious, sweet treat. But, I mean, it's not just a small one. I mean, these are like big homemade waffles that you can make. Sometimes you divide them up 
and typically they're in the coffee shops. But coffee isn't just in the morning when you drink quickly and you need some energy. Coffee here is a little bit different as well in that it's a social event where you sit down with people, you also have something maybe sweet like a waffle, and then you have your, your coffee with it. So these waffles here in Chile, I've never seen anybody use syrup with their waffles here. And I might just be totally off on that. I don't think so though. They do sell some syrup in our liter and in the Jumbo, but I don't see too many people buying it. When I brought syrup for the first time to the campo, to the school that I taught at, and showed it to the kids, they were just loving it because it's super sweet, delicious, something that they had never had before. And for me, I love syrup too, and I love to eat these waffles in the morning. It's delicious to have a waffle later on, but I'm not super into sweet things. I like sweet things, but chocolate on top of a waffle, to me, is a little different. However, when I have some good company, when I have a coffee mid-afternoon, and there's a waffle or something offered to me like that with chocolate on top of it, I mean, you can't say no to that. It's delicious. So I love that kind of a thing. I love those kinds of waffles. They are delicious. But for me, because I think I grew up with waffles in the morning before you go to work so that you don't have to take any time off and take a break, I enjoy having a big breakfast in the morning, having some of these waffles with some butter and some syrup on top of it. And uh, mm, Elise says, these are disgusting and they taste like cardboard. I think they, uh, they taste like waffles. I mean, they fill me up. But how can you beat a maraqueta in the morning? I think that waffles, I, I just do not think that there's any way that waffles could have a, a good standing here in Chile unless they had the chocolate or something on them in a coffee shop. Because here in the morning, you just grab a little bit of maraqueta, some butter, some eggs, something quick like that. You put it on top and man, I have that every single morning and it's so delicious. These we've had in our freezer now for I think two or three weeks because I, I typically don't have these anymore. I actually do think that they taste like cardboard now. They're not very good anymore because when you get that fresh, delicious fresh waffle and you can get it from stores here they deliver it to you so quickly no problem whereas in the United States the States is so big you would go to the store you would grab these you wouldn't go and order some waffles and have them delivered to your house that rarely exists unless maybe you're in a big city and they do something like that but here typically I might get some of these to refresh my memory of what waffles were like in the States with some butter, some syrup. And uh, I mean, really, if I want a waffle, I'm probably going to order it from a place, put on my own butter and my own syrup. I mean, there's only one choice of syrup here in Linares, so I'll get that one choice of syrup, put it on top, and uh, it is delicious. But let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite way to eat a waffle? Do you even like waffles? Have you even ever had a waffle before? Have you ever had it with butter and syrup? Or do you just have it with the delicious chocolate or different flavorings that you can put on at uh, a nice coffee shop? Let me know what you think in the, in the comments below. I'm interested to know. But while we're talking about comments, let's take a look at the comments from two videos ago because the last video that I put out isn't quite up yet. So let's take a look. I cannot believe that we're almost at 91,000 subscribers. We're so close to 100,000 and it's all thanks to you. I mean, I love making these videos, but if you didn't like them, then I wouldn't be gaining subscribers. I wouldn't be able to do this in my backyard like twice a week and talk to you guys. I have so much fun doing this. So thanks for uh, letting me kind of live out a dream of mine to do what I really love in making videos. All right, here we go. So. I'm taking a look at the comments from the TV video that I did and we're going to read a couple of different ones because in the last video I read a couple of comments as well. Um, Ivan says, Te lo mereces estar en televisión por todo el amor que le dedicas a Chile. Felicitaciones. <laughs> Thank you so much. And Dario 
says, I'm a Chilean living in the United States for over 30 years. I love your channel and the way you've embraced my culture. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for keeping me connected to my roots. You're awesome. And these are the comments that keep me going. So thank you guys so much for writing them. I really appreciate it. But right now we've got uh, a dog going crazy over here. There's a dog over there going crazy. So I'm gonna stop right here. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up. Check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of those links are right below. And we'll see you guys next time for another adventure where we get to eat more delicious food. But for now, ciao, Pascal.